In this video, we are island hopping through Thailand on a search for the ultimate paradise. We'll explore idyllic islands, see aeroplanes taking off from the beach and swim with sharks. We're even going to a tiny remote island with the best beach in the world. This one. Last night, we landed in Phuket. This morning, we've woken up to airplanes taking off. exciting morning on the beach but we can't stay longer because we only have one week to find paradise that was an accident <laughs> this afternoon we're getting the bus from Phuket Airport down to South Phuket which is the gateway to Thailand's idyllic islands we're going to quickly check in and then explore Phuket Old Town because we only have one night here I didn't know what to expect from Old Town Phuket, but all of the colourful buildings here have been a really pleasant surprise. Is that a giant cockroach, she says? It's a lobster. I thought it was a cockroach. <laughs> That's like my worst nightmare on the side of a building. It took us a while to find the kind of authentic hole-in-the-wall Thai restaurant that we like, but this place is full of locals, it's pretty cheap, and tastes pretty good. Next on our search for paradise are the PP Islands. Their reputation for world-class snorkeling and diving sites have made them a haven for backpackers. I'm also going to guess that there's a pretty big nightlife scene here. This is probably a bad time to find out that I get seasick. Uh -huh. our ferry ride included a tour of Maya Bay which is the famous beach from the film The Beach and the Viking Cove. We got more than we bargained for with our money, it was very scenic. I didn't bargain for these hills though. Where are you taking me? In my humble opinion we haven't done nearly enough beaches for an island video so guess where we're going now? To the pool! Just kidding, it's the beach. After travelling in the heat to get here, a dip in the cool water oh, is very much appreciated. Still not a very good swimmer though. <laughs> this beach is very pretty with the limestone cliffs and the colourful boats. The only thing is there's a lot of those boats, making it difficult to swim. As if climbing up those stairs earlier wasn't exercise enough, <laughs> now Izzy's making me hike up to a viewpoint. How is she doing this? <laughs> Maybe we didn't pick the best time of year to do this hike. It's currently April, which is the hottest month of the year in Thailand. I mean, it's nearly sunset. We'll get there together. Yeah, okay. Together. <laughs> I thought it was going to be so busy, but there's literally no one here. Wow, look at the island. Izzy's making this one with sharks. But Koh Phi has a reputation for some of the best coral reefs in the world. We can't not snorkel. But sharks, Izzy. Sharks! I can't believe I've agreed to this. I got a sea urchin stuck in my foot. I'm gonna go ask the dive school how I can get it out because it's painful. Thank you. 
hit it. Okay. I need you to have some lime, sausage, and it's still being nice. Why is it that the most painful things are the things which help? Dear sea urchins, you suck. After an incredible day swimming with sharks, we're heading into PP's island village to do something we never normally do. PP is known as the party island of Thailand, so we feel like we need to experience at least a little bit of its famous nightlife. <laughs> we are on the hunt for delicious Thai food and a fire show on the beach. That's a big fish. Purple rice. <laughs> This morning, we've caught a ferry to Koh Lanta, an island with a reputation as a romantic getaway. We've arrived at our accommodation, which is right next to the longest beach I've ever seen, which is quite aptly named Long Beach. I think I've finally seen the golden sand and turquoise water that everyone raves about when they talk about Thailand. And I feel like I've got said turquoise water up my nose and in my eyes. Ah. <laughs> This charity is called Lanta Animal Welfare and after playing with the cats we're doing a tour to see the work they do and yes Dale will get to see some dogs later. We've just been learning about the dogs feeding and walking schedules because they're used to eating out of bins some of them will only eat human food pretty much broth, rice and veggies like we eat for dinner every day. <laughs> it's so funny that they're so fussy. <laughs> They also have a cooking school here, which is how they fund the charity. We looked at going, but they're all booked up for tonight and we leave tomorrow, so. Ever since I met Izzy, nearly four years ago, she has talked so much about how much she wants a cat. Because we travel full time, it's really hard to have that time for her to have interactions with cats. So it's quite nice to spend some time today with her. Very much in her element. That's the same thing that works on me. Ah. The beaches here are beautiful, but I'm not sure how they'll stack up to the best beach in the world, which is where we're going next. Today we are heading to our fourth and final island. Kokradan is so small and remote that nobody actually lives there. We have to get a speedboat because there are no ferry ports on the island. Good thing too, because speedboats are a lot faster. We've just landed on a slice of paradise that's won the title of the number one beach in the world. But you'll have to wait for us to show you it properly tomorrow. You'll see why. Thank you. Oh, they've come to help us get our bags. Thank God. This really is paradise. <laughs> We're staying in the center of the island in a hand-built bungalow surrounded by jungle. We have our own private porch and I'm looking forward to drinking my morning coffee here. Our bedroom has a traditional thatched roof, handcrafted fixtures and windows that open right into the jungle. But we're not worried about bugs because our bed has a huge mosquito net. How do I get into this thing? You just open it. Ah. Pleasant. Merry Christmas. What is it? Fruit. It's mango. It's mango? Yeah, I ate the skin. 
Oh god. <laughs> this entire island is off the grid, but they run a power generator at night. It's just come on, so I'm gonna take advantage of that and shower. Oh, oh, it's still cold. Ah. Paradise Beach on Ko Kraden ranked as the number one beach in the world just last month. It really feels like paradise with the golden sunrise reflecting on the water and the sand. We can hear the waves crashing, but not much else. This feeling of calm is something I've associated with the sea ever since I was a little girl. This morning I woke up to sunrise over the best beach in the world. I'm very sleepy, but very happy. Dale's asleep. <laughs> Are you actually asleep? Morning. The beach here is paradise, but let's see if the marine life stacks up to it. It does. We've walked right down to the end of the beach and there are even mangroves here. It's not quite so peaceful now that 800,000 tour groups have shown up. I know we're tourists as well, but there's just too many people in the world. There's not enough space for all of us. Luckily, these are only day trippers, so once they go, We'll have the island nice and quiet again. We're eating all our meals at the place we're staying. Luckily, the food's pretty good. On the west side of the island, there's a second beach. You have to hike through the thick jungle to get there. We both love a challenge, so we're going to go and check it out. It's not a very long hike through the jungle, but it is a very hot one. I'm really glad we've got these trees for shade. It's also very pretty looking up at the sunlight glistening through the branches. We really have to work to get to this beach. Let's hope it's worth it. <laughs> that was not very graceful. <laughs> There is no one here. And this beach is so beautiful. I think we found that paradise we were searching for. Wow, come on Iz, look at this. I didn't think places like this existed. We've been to a lot of versions of paradise in this video, but for me, sunset over this remote beach in the jungle is paradise. That's partly because we had to work to get here, so I feel like I appreciate it a lot more. Paradise is subjective, and no list in the world can tell you which place you're going to fall in love with. This moment right now is, for me, perfection. But it wouldn't be paradise if you weren't here with me. Go, 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 run, run, run! Stop, stop. 